Welcome to Bar Music TV, the premier music WhatsApp TV. Fire Boy on Elomox remix, biggest surprise ever. <laughs> ah ah. Oh my god, that's a big surprise. A very big surprise. I wasn't seeing that coming. A shocker. Yeah, shocker. Lo she beat. This is all called shocker. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Lover boy, playboy on Elamox. How is this gonna sound? How is this gonna be? You know? I was like, okay. Let's just let's just let's just keep watching. Let's just keep watching. So that was the most curious thing, but I think, well, what was um, Charlie's, Pop, Charlie Poppy's, um, um, you know, what was he thinking that he allowed Fireboy to be on that song? Like, what was on his mind? Well, but the fact that maybe Olambe's influence might have facilitated that, I don't know. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, okay. So, I don't want to judge the book by its cover. So, but I said, okay, before I, I, I judge this song, before I say anything about the song, let us even look at what um, um, people are saying about the song online, you know. Let's see what Twitter, has, uh, Twitter users are saying about the song. What are they saying? What are, what, what are their views about this particular song? Okay? About the remix, I mean to say. Because I was actually expecting Slanta. Ibile and um, Mali to be on it. I don't know if they're still cool with each other. With each other, I mean to say, uh, or maybe Zlatan, one other person. Yeah. Fireball was the least person I was expecting on that song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but it sounds so ridiculous to me. But I don't want to, you know, um, be, be too personal about it. Okay, so it's your boy Banabas, aka Banabi, your number one music reviewer. Her. A music analyst on bar music tv so let's see what um twitter users are saying or what they, they've said about this um remix featuring um elamox remix featuring fire boy so then so this were the um comments i saw online specifically on twitter i specifically went to twitter to check out you know their views and what they think about the remix this person said fire boy for no just drop verse for this song this one said, waiting Fireboy won't sing for this song, actually. Like, what does he want us to sing? You know? Well, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's chill. This person said, Fireboy no need for this remix. He should have put Zlanta or Odumodu. That was the same thing that came to my mind. I was like, Odumodu should be one of the song. You get. But there must have been a definite reason why Fireboy is there. You know? There must have been a definite reason. Which is that reason I'm trying to, you know, figure out and I'll talk about. On to the last comment. This person said, Charlie Pop is the new Naira Mali. Ah, ah. It's because of he got out of prison. And as soon as he got out, this was the first song he released after he was apprehended and released. Uh, that's similar to Naira Mali's story. Okay. So, um, maybe yes. Maybe yes. What? Are my thoughts on this song what are my thoughts on this and what do i feel about this song the first of all i like the instrumentals okay the intro is the intro for me you know but i think um there were some contradicting melodic lines in the um instrumentals of the intro um i don't know if you listen closely if you are a musician if you listen closely you will hear what i'm talking about um, there was some kind of contradicting, you know. but that is sometimes attributed to um, a piano instrumentals. They have some of those features, contradicting notes, or which is which can cause or which causes um, dissonances in the sound. Okay, so uh, and I, I like the I like the vibe the song is giving. I like the vibe so much. Hundred, the vibe is making a lot of sense. It is Lanta's opening for me, and I love the way the producer made sure that it was Lanta that opened the song. For real, it 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 gives this kind of energetic kind of vibe. Slanta comes in into any song with this energetic vibe, and you know you you feel his presence in the song. And I love the way you open it. You 
open it. Just it was just the right person to open the song and opening with a kind of different chorus entirely. All these my Saudi boys, but you know, it makes a lot of sense for real. Yeah, yeah. Then you have Charlie Poppy coming in with a vast one, you know, from there. In the lyrical content of um, Charlie Poppy's verse, there was this part where he was saying, Inside that your Evia soup, another Evia day inside. I was like, Who, 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 who? What does this mean? So basically, I think he, 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 I think it meant this. Um, when you talk about the Yahoo boys, okay? So, um, they do, some of them, not all, they do a lot of kind of shams and all to, um, to boost their. They are they're scamming whatever they do. Okay, so they had something to cream. Sometimes it can be soap, sometimes it can be whatever. They had um, some kind of um, dark stuff to, you understand what I'm saying? Some kind of um, uh, charm or what calling out. Um, I don't want to say too much. Yeah, so that's what he does use that as a kind of um, metaphor, something to represent uh, that. Um, phenomenon okay but is Charlie Poppy a yahoo boy I don't know don't ask me I know Sabi <laughs> you can go and check the statement in the police station whether it was or not I don't know about that don't hold me responsible for saying such okay so on to the next so from there we had the chorus coming in all this hello mock boys parade buddy btc day buddy you know then I like the instrumentals that was accompanying that particular chorus you know it's so heavy and it's kind of a um, transition so after that we add um fire boys's verse on the song which is the part that i've been anticipating so so much i've been waiting for okay so the first thing that came to my mind when i heard his verse was the fact that um he added a different flavor to the song entirely because i've been like what does this guy wants to sing among everyone that was featured on that song, or that was on that song, I mean, Charlotte Poppy, Islanta, uh, he was the only one who did a kind of um, vocal melodic verse. And what I mean to say is there's a verse that has a melody attached to it. All others, I mean, Islanta and Charlie Poppy, all did um, something like um, just vocals, just lyrical content. There was no melody in their verse, okay? So, more like a rap or something. So I think that creates some kind of a different perspective or perspective or kind of a different uh, variation to the song, which I like. I really, really like it. Personally, I like it. Okay. But I was like, okay, well, but still on still, it shouldn't be every song uh, Fireboy should be jumping on. But who am I to dictate that? Of course, I'm nobody. I can't dictate that. But... Uh, I think sometimes it's not every song you should jump on as an artist. Um, sometimes just let it be the way it was, okay? So that it won't give um, the impression of, oh, he is no more trending, is no more, you know, is no more on the spotlight, okay? The spotlight is no more on him. That's why he's trying to look for every song to jump on and so that people can recognize him again. So that it won't give that kind of impression. That's what I feel, okay? So, and. Honestly, if I'm going to be real with you, I think the song should have just been the way it is. Like, uh, it should be. There shouldn't be any any vocal melodic verse. Everything should just be normal. And we should have someone like Odumodu on that. The Odumodu creates vocal melodic verses, but I think I would prefer Odumodu's Odumodu on that song. Or, or the modus verse on that song than Fireboy, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, it gives the song a better kind of um, structure, in my own view, yeah. But not bad, not bad, not bad. It's still good, though. Oh, everywhere good, everywhere good, for real. So after that, we had uh, Zlanta's verse on the song. For real, I, I really love Zlanta's verse, for real. It's the lyrical content there for me, 100, 100. And instrumentals was also really accompanying his verse. I like it. Then concluded with um, Charlie Poppy's chorus. Everything about this song is nice. I like the vibe. For real. It's giving a very good vibe. And this is a win for everyone from Bini Edo Bini. Here's my recommendation about the song. Uh, if you're having a bad day or you just feel like vibing, most like, you know, it's catching fun. 
think the song is a very good song for you to listen to. All you say, long box boys, body. You know, our advice is to listen to you. Just catch fun, have fun while wait time, you know. For some time. Sometimes it's good to have fun. Please have fun, I beg, in everything you do. Okay, so let's greet this song. Logo content 6 over 10, melodic structure 7 over 10, vocals 8 over 10, instrumentals 8 over 10, production 8 over 10, delivery 9 over 10, mood energetic cut through 9 over 10, relatability mm, 8 over 10, replay value because of the vibe it has a very high replay value so let's give it 9 over 10. Thank you so much for watching this video up to this point it means you really love us yeah please kindly like comment down below let us know what you think about the song in the comment section thank you see you in the next